Hi, this is Sarah Marks, one of the librarians here at UMass Lowell, and today I'm going to give you an overview of setting up a Wikipedia account and the basics of what's available to you when you're in your account. Now, I do have an account, but I'm going to set up a second one sort of for my work edit, something that you can see and know that this is me when I'm at work and doing work-related work on Wikipedia. This is what you're going to do to create your account. Here I am at the main Wikipedia English web page, and I can click on Create Account up here on the right side upper part of the page. Now I can select my own username, and I'm going to select my name, and then my own password. And I'm going to put in my work address. Now it does ask you to add in this CAPTCHA option so that it knows you're not a robot. Now you can see it's giving me the option to improve Wikipedia and it's going to suggest things, but I'm going to say no thanks maybe later. You can see my account name is here. It's in red. That's because there's nothing there. I have a message waiting for me. I have a talk page, a sandbox. I can set my preferences see what I've got important changes made to and what contributions I've had. We're going to take this one by one and I'm going to give you another in the options under this video a way to play a game that will help you go through this entire process. So this is my user page. You can see nothing's here but I can create it. <clears throat> what it does is it automatically lets me edit what it calls the visual editor. I can change this to the source, but if you don't want to know the code behind Wikipedia, just click Start Editing. Now I'll say my name is Sarah Marks. I work at UMass Lowell. This is a work-related account. Please see my, and I'm going to close this, other account at all right, now to add a link, I'll highlight Library Girl, click on link, and look for it as a user. Now, I know from my experience that that's how to do it, but you're probably not going to link to other users, and we'll get more into editing another time. So I'm going to click Save Page, Created User Page. You always want to put in some type of edit summary, just a couple words explaining what you did. This way you know what's gone on in each edit, and other editors know what you've done in each edit. Click Save Page when you're done, and now that's created. There's two messages waiting for me. I've made an edit, and welcome to Wikipedia. I can mark all as red and move on. My talk page is where other people will leave a message for me. So I don't need to put anything here, I just need to let people do it. My sandbox is my playground. Now this is going to default to the code for Wikipedia, but you don't have to do anything here. And you can, you can wait. This is where you want to play, but you can see if I just put words here, and no formatting, and then save it, it's just going to show me words. So we'll talk about how to use the sandbox more in another video. In your preferences, you'll be able to set how you want things to appear, how you want to be referenced, if you have a style for your signature, your email options, how you want editing to take place. Now this is really going to be important because you want to see the visual editor, but it's not always going to give you that option. So here we have editing mode. Remember my last editor, always give me visual editor if, po if possible, always give me source editor, show me both editor tabs. My encouragement is stick with the visual editor when you can and click save. There are other options in your preferences 
and if you have any questions about them, just let me know. Your watch list is where any page you're taking notice of and keeping track of will show up. And the way to do this, beyond just editing, is to go to the main page and see if there's a page you're interested in. Now you can see here's the article, here's a talk, I'm reading, I can edit, I can view the history, and then there's a star. Now I can click on the star and it will add it to my watch list. So if my star is blue, it's on my watch list. If it's not and it's just white, it hasn't been there. So I can click the star to watch this page. And now when I click on watch list, it'll show me the last time it was edited. And any time it's edited, it will go to the top of the list. My contributions show me the edits I've made so that I can see what I did and when. This is going to make it a lot easier to track the changes you make. So that's the basics of an account and how to set up account. If you have any questions, just let me know.